and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the carboxylic acid family. This is going to be a short video looking at the preparation and reactions that carboxylic acids can undergo. First of all we're going to look at preparation. There are a few methods of preparation that you will already be familiar with. The first of those you would have had a look at in higher which would have been the oxidation of a primary alcohol. So to do this, you would have looked at using acidified dichromate, Tollens reagent, Fellings reagent, and any of those could be used for you to oxidise from primary alcohol to carboxylic acid. The next reaction is also from a uh, higher. This is where you would have looked at oxidising an aldehyde. And again, you would have been using the same sorts of oxidising agents. Another reaction that you might be familiar with would be the hydrolysis of an ester. So an ester would have this structure here with the carboxylate link and you can either use sodium hydroxide and water to do this or you can use acid and water to do this. If you use sodium hydroxide then this is a non-reversible reaction. Another reaction that you might have looked at previously would be the hydrolysis of an amide link. So an amide link would have a similar structure to an ester, but we have an NH instead of the O. And for this we would be using again either an acid or alkali hydrolysis reaction. From previous work that we looked at, you could produce a you could produce a nitrile from a haloalkane and to do that you would use sodium cyanide in ethanol and once you have your nitrile then you can hydrolyze that using acid and water to give you a carboxylic acid and when we looked at the haloalkane reactions we said that this is a really good way for you to increase your carbon chain length by one in your synthesis. The reactions that carboxylic acids can undergo some of these are familiar to you so the most basic reaction that a carboxylic acid could undergo is just reacting like an acid so you can react it with um, metal hydroxide, you could react it with a metal oxide or a metal carbonate and it will react just as any other acid would to produce a salt. So for example if we had ethanoic acid and we reacted that with sodium hydroxide then you would produce sodium ethanoate. Another reaction that carboxylic acids can undergo is to react with an alcohol and a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst to produce an ester. They can do a similar reaction but this time with an amine and they need to heat this to form an amide. So initially when you react with an amine you will get a salt produced and then when you heat it you will drive off water to produce the amide. And then finally reduction which can take place with lithium aluminium hydride and that will reduce all the way back to a primary alcohol. Thank you for watching this short video on carboxylic acids. I hope that it's been helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter for regular updates on new videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.